Welcome back, Pez Collectors. As you can tell, today I'm back at John Devlin's house. <laughs> he wanted to share with us some salesman Christmas ads that he has, and there's a whole lot of them sitting here in front of us, and he has a really, really, really cool Santa B Pez dispenser sitting here too. Are we gonna mm -hmm. look at the other ones too, sure, or just Santa B? But I don't have this in my collection, so he wanted to share it with you guys. <laughs> so if you didn't know anything about Pez ad sheets, you're gonna learn a lot today because John is like probably one of the most knowledgeable people in like the Pez paper area. Would you say that? <laughs> I'm one of, there's a lot of good one. people out there, yes. <laughs> the best one I know, at least. Oh, okay. So. Okay, there you go. <laughs> All right. So talking about these dispensers, so these are the, the uh, Santa Bees and these two actually look like they're the same thing, but the reality of, of it is if you see the plastic, the white plastic, it's a different shade. This is like a very white, and this is more of an almost a translucent white. So people pay a premium for that. So, so I don't know if you can see the difference. Sometimes it's easier to tell on the little ball, the difference. I don't know if that shows up well enough. Yeah, I can tell just by looking at them here. That's cool. I noticed that with some of the other like Pez that are white, like you'll yes. see like the more transparent one. I think the Santa C's are like that even. Right. Cause I was just going over my Santa C's a lot. <laughs> so watch out when you buy these. Even when I bought this, I wasn't prepared. I did not check that. So oh, this yeah. is a wire head. And if you look in there, you can see the little wire is not connected. Some people can fix that. I'm okay with that, but let's go back. So also on this, the flesh color, if you see that compared to this, the paint job, the flesh is a different color. But more importantly, this is all on a white plastic with painted flesh and red. This is actually all a red plastic with white painted and the flesh painted. And then on this particular one, it's hard for me to explain it, but if, I don't know if you can see up in there that it's a red color. Oh, like underneath the head. Yes. And then also this particular one, the flashing when it was made, they didn't clean it all up. So there's extra mold flashing on it on the side there and on the front, which I'm happy to have that because most of them that's all cleaned up. So it's hard to find ones that still have that on it. Oh, wow. I think that's really And then cool. this I brought because I believe uh, when Erin showed her, she had the black button, oh. which is extremely rare. I've never seen other than hers. And then this is the red, which is more common. If you can see that on there. The... And again, on these, you're better off if you ever get to see them in anyone's room, you want to push them this way. You do not want oh, to yeah. grab them by the head. Yeah. And this is also a nice display to use to put these on. Yeah, so this has like... It's called a many... Pentagon stand. Yeah. This is super neat because then you can put the Pez in there. Correct. You see these a lot when people have vintage. Do those fit right in there? They do. And these, <laughs> these actually, these blue are are softer. So they're uh, oh, so more like snug, forgiving more than snug. others, yes. And then also with this, if you buy these stands, you want to make sure that the base is here. Usually this sometimes is missing. Plus a lot of times on the, where the little blue boxes are, there's cracks mm -hmm. and stuff. And sometimes these are faded. There's a rare version of this that I do not have. It's yellow instead of white. I mean, it's a deep yellow, not, not smoke stain. It is actually yellow. <laughs> then these I wanted to, to talk about this. So this version, which I really like these, but they're much harder to find still in the cellophane. Uh, and then also when you get them in the cellophane, you've got old candy and American candy has no preservatives, so you really mm -hmm. have to have something to, like a desiccant or a dehumidifier and keep the room humidity under 50. I try to keep it in the low 40s, which is really good for the candy, but paper really likes humidity slightly higher. But we're more concerned about the candy. You don't want it to melt and turn into goo. And if anybody ever had sour candy, mm. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's, it's pretty much destined to turn into goo mm -hmm. in a matter of years. Mm -hmm. so yeah, that stuff gets happen. like really gross too. Like it... Right. And so in the candy packs, this lime is actually a hard to get candy pack. 
So if you would have found this same thing with cherry flavor candy, mm -hmm. let's say this would cost $250, lime candy would jack the price up $100 or more just because it's a rare color, a rare flavor, yeah. I should say, the lime. I wish they would make so, lime nowadays because yeah. I like lime, I like, like sparkling cherry. waters and stuff. Yep. <laughs> but what I wanted to say also, you'll notice there's some um, scotch tape on there. I did not do that. I bought that that way. Mm. Um, and that's to keep it from getting tore up even more uh -huh. because it's so fragile, the cellophane. Some of the cellophane's thicker than others. That's more thin. This uh, snowman oh. one is actually slightly thicker, mm -hmm. but even it, if you look off to the side straight on, you can see where it's already got a hole and I have never even taken it out of this box. Oh, it's wow. still over time that will happen on some of them. It's very hard to maintain the cellophane. And it's also not good to travel with it or anything. If you're ever gonna sell one of these, it's better to pre-sell it and bring it so you don't not sell it and try to bring it back home. Mm. It's also very hard to ship these things <laughs> with cellophane. Some people have been very lucky and I have gotten things in the mail and they've come perfect, surprisingly, but sometimes not. Mm -hmm. I just oh. bought the Bugs Bunny with the brown stem and it came in the cello okay. and the guy shipped it in like an action figure package right. and it's, I don't think it got messed up. I, I okay. mean, I don't know what it looked like before it came, right. <laughs> but it didn't have any holes or anything. I was pretty nervous about that arriving oh. in the mail. <laughs> okay. So yeah, that's a good, uh, that's a good point. Cause these cello, I have a few, I don't have as many as him, but whenever I show these on my videos, I'm like, I'm not touching these. I'm just leaving them in the box. Just showing them because I think the more you touch them, the right. more likely you're going to get they're a not hole made or something to, in right. them. They're not made really to handle much. Also, I neglected to say, now this one has a sticker in it, and this one has an insert little booklet. Oh, yeah. And that's another thing that matters for the price of these. With these items in there, that adds to the price every time. Just wanted to give you a better look at the snowman and cello. And John, you were telling me something interesting about the snowman's name. Oh, so the real snowman was actually called Mr. Snowman. There's paperwork that says that. In other words, the Pez company named it Mr. Snowman, not just a snowman. <laughs> I think that's cool. And then also, I call this one Frosty because he's already melted. <laughs> I don't know if you can see what had happened to him. And you can see the melting here and the curving and twisting. And that all happened because it was in someone's car in hot weather, where it was like, I want to say 95. But this was in a glass box uh, and the glass like cooked it really bad. This was one of a group of dispensaries. Hopefully they didn't that were lose all, anything like really they were expensive. All, no. Okay. Yeah, they were low end. So. Yeah, that's really cool. It's a it has a fun story too. So it's it always fun to have. Yeah. And it was a gift. They gave it to me. Yeah. So, so you wanna look at some uh, the paper ends? Sure. Okay, so this we're starting out with one that so when I'm looking at these, there is actually a code number on these. This one says 23.2 slash one. A lot of these say 233. These are earlier sheets and all of the 233s tend to have the snowman with an actual loop. So they would be the ornament type snowman. Also, these are all eight and a half by 11s. And some of them you'll see on the side here, there's three holes because they were in a binder because the retailers when they get these they put them in the binder and decide if they're going to buy whatever oh, they're going to yeah. buy at different times of year this mm -hmm. was of course way before computers and even using uh, the internet or anything this was like actual persons <laughs> the salesman going to the stores so also the artwork really is to catch the eye of the person who's going to buy this in bulk that's why if you look at these some of these will actually tell you the weight this one doesn't, but some will tell you the weight of the box and mm -hmm. everything just so they know what they're getting into. Also, these sheets tend to, this one does not have lines in it. Sometimes they get folded into three to be put in an envelope and mailed. And it's harder to find the ones that have not had that happen. And it's harder to find them without the three holes in them. Mm -hmm. I will buy them either way, especially if it's a rare sheet, just to get the sheet. So again, also this one's 29 cents. Uh, the next one we'll go to will be a 33 cent one. That would be this one. The first one showed the angel and the snowman. 
and that is also the header card you see there that is very rare that header card it's hard to find that one i do not have that one myself I would this like header to, card yes, here? I would like to have that. No, that's, I, I like the art on that one yes, a lot. Yes, that, that's a pretty one. And then since that one, so now that's it. This one, if you look, it's two point, it's two three three on this. And the header card has changed. It's still the same characters, mm -hmm. but the header card is oh, yeah. totally different. Uh, this is a cheaper header card to make. This one's harder because it's die cut. Oh, yeah. So this is a more desirable one. Also, I do not have this header card. Uh. <laughs> so they're both very hard to get. And we've gone up from 29 cents to 33 cents. Mm -hmm. So you think this was like back from the 1970s? Um, That's when uh, the Santa Claus C was first released? Yeah, I'd have to research that. That part, or at least the it's iffy. Around the 70s. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. it's iffy. I know dates, looking up dates on Pez is hard because it's, yes. a lot of them range from so many years. Like, you don't know exactly when. But Correct. like just ballpark yeah. in the 1970s, maybe these were something that you would find. I'll say yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think these, are, these are really cool. So on this one, that's a 233 also. But now you're seeing the snowman, Santa, and the uh, angel. All three of them there are there on that sheet. Yeah. So do you have any of these boxes? I do not pens? have that box like either. They're, the Christmas boxes are hard to find. Are they? Also, if you'll notice, the price has now went up from 33 cents all the way to 49 Where's cents. The, oh, yeah. So you can show huh. them that. Also, that big green area on the bottom that looks like a big wasted oh, yeah. space. I was gonna ask you about that. That's actually where the company would put like the different vendor for that area. Oh, okay. So the Midwest might have a certain person. It doesn't say Pez International, it says whatever candy company, and mm. they're the go between between Pez and that store. Yeah, I noticed that on a lot of them. Yes, that's, or, that's why they do that. Yeah, that one's got some on there, but I noticed right. that, oh, that one over there has it too, and I was like, I wonder why they left it. And that is Blank. why they did it. And also, if you notice, this one actually talks about the weight. That case weight is 48 pounds. Wow. So that's a lot of pebs. And it says 36 assorted, and there's 12, 12. boxes of 36. <laughs> and you get them. And see, so that pebs. one had the big blank spot. Here is the same. This is actually, if you look, the same ad, oh, yeah. same box, but they filled everything up. So it still says item number you know 233 and it's still 49 cents but they're using more of the sheet instead of wasting all that area so that sheet was cheaper to make because part of that's in black and white so why they did that i don't know like but the here. next one that we're going to is that actually that's actually printed on there too like yes yeah. huh like it looks like a sticker almost or something right. like, but you but look at not. it it's not and then that same area from there, now here's the same thing in color, where instead of being black and white, oh, that's yeah, in it's color. Down there at the bottom. This pops a lot better. Also, you notice it's a different Santa. It's all also a different box. That's the wider ad. Oh. This one also shows Rudolph. Yeah, I like the Rudolph so, dispensers. So Rudolph comes in, but the angel goes out on <laughs> this one. Even though it is, we're still in the two, three, three, somewhere it should say. And the price on this is up to There's 59 two, cents. Two, three, oh, something down there. Okay, I'm sorry. This one's out of sequence. This is a two, three, four. So in two, three, four, we've gone up again in price to 59 cents. I guess that's the next one though, right? Yes. In order. Yes. Yeah, I guess. Let's get a good... I like this one a lot. The colors on this ad look really nice. You can almost tell like over the eight, over the years how like design has changed even. Just right. like with the fonts and I'm all about the graphics. Yeah. Now if you look at this graphic, <laughs> yeah. if you remember like Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer mm -hmm. cartoon and stuff, uh -huh. it's more that kind that of style. look in the 70s Yeah. that we saw a lot of. I, I like think. that. I do too. This one, oh, this one just looks really nice. I like this one a lot. And all those have the little theme, fill us with Pez candy and play with us. <laughs> they all say that, so. It makes you realize like why you find so many of the Christmas Pez so easily. Cause I mean, they must've just sold these year after year after year. Yes. All these boxes that they sold. Right. It's gotta be like one of the most 
like even S snowman and or mr snowman <laughs> and the rudolph they all have to be like ones that Pez just mass produced i guess right besides and, santa and as a paper collector we're looking for ones like that particular one where santa's there we like them even better if all of that is um art rather uh -huh. than the actual items really yes so they're more desirable and harder to find so the more they do of that, the more desirable like these on the wall. Oh, those up there, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so even on this one, if you're looking, we've got that big white spot again for the company to put their name. And if you look on the side here, it talks about using these as stocking fillers, decorative. They're basically trying to get point of sale so more people will mm -hmm. buy these. And again, it's got a different Santa here, which is nice looking. Also, you'll notice these boxes, all of these, they went to a wider box, not the little short mm. box. I think these were more, none of them are durable, but this is better than the little short box. Again, these were only made to last just long enough to sell those, and that's it. That's why it's very hard to find any of these boxes. Yeah, I love And again, this has all the little holes on the side. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Some people don't like that. Some people, when they frame them, they'll cut that part. They'll make the frame oh. slightly smaller. So you don't see those. I don't mind it. So because that's how kind of really yeah, that's how it came. Yeah. Also, you can see on this one where the company actually changed. Yeah, I think before it said ten oh, yeah. of thirty six. They added twelve <laughs> of thirty six. That's cool. Like, so take a closer look at this one. But up, let's see where's it at. It still weighs the yeah, same. Yeah, like right right here you can see was, that they actually they put a sticker. They made a mistake. Yes, or something. But I left that on there because yeah, it's all Yeah. <laughs> This one's really nice. And then the next one is actually going to be this pretty much the same artwork of Santa, but then the background, instead of the other color, it's red. Oh, yeah. And they think that pops more to get your attention. Yeah, it looks good. I like the bold colored backgrounds right. on all these. And once you're into collecting paper, well, you want any version that there is. Also, we're at now at a 2.236 or a oh, 236. Yeah. I like the giant box, like like yes. you were saying, like they're getting wider and wider. Yes, and it almost looks like double go. header cards on yeah. that. So, because really nice. the next one you're going to see is a single header card. This particular header card is fairly common in the world of header cards. That one's a reasonably priced one. I want to say like a hundred dollars, sometimes less. So not the box. You just get the header card. Just the header. Yes. The box is still extremely hard to find. That's really Very cool. Easy. I love when I see just like vintage boxes like this just yes. full of the Pez. This is so cool. It's like if you had a time machine, you'd go right, back. Right, and buy those. <laughs> this is uh, another one here. Yes. Now this one, we're back down on price to 33 cents. But if you look at the box itself is thicker. That box is uh, more fibrous than some of the other ones. It's not real thin. So it'll take a little bit more abuse oh, yeah. than the other ones. But, and again, now that header card, I've never seen in real life. Really? Yeah, so it went from something that's common to something that's probably a lot of money, I'll just say that. <laughs> more than a couple hundred dollars. Yeah. Also, that says Pez International oh. on here. Oh, yeah. Oh, this something one does that, too. Yes. The purple one. Correct. That's cool. Yeah, I like how you have these ad sheets because then it tells people what boxes you can look for. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but we're going to go back to this one because here it tells you about Santa Claus and Mr. Snowman. It actually tells you right on there, Mr. Snowman. That's cool. I don't think I've ever heard anybody We Nobody refers it, yeah. it to, no. But that is what they intended. It's pretty neat. Maybe you never see this box set because it is Pez International. It's it, maybe harder it, to find. Like it is hard here. to find, but I'm not saying it's harder to find than the U.S. ones. So, because you got international collectors that yeah, were trading yeah, sure. back and forth. So this one it actually was folded, but I still wanted to have it in my collection because it actually offers if you send in three wrappers and ten cents, they will send you a special. Pez dispenser, and it actually says on there the Golden Sun Glow dispenser, <laughs> which we always call the Golden Glow, but they call it a Golden Sun Glow dispenser, and it's it's an exciting premium offer according <laughs> to them. 
Yeah, so at Christmas. Where's it at? So this little part, that's what he's talking about there. Yeah. And that's cool because they don't even show the dispenser no. on there. Maybe you have one you can show us? Yes. <laughs> I don't have one in my collection, no. so uh, that would be cool. Like it's funny that they don't even the cabin on here at all. Like right. that's what you get. So this is the dispenser Ooh. and I'm not going to take it out of the package here mainly because even my skin will tarnish that plastic. Mm -hmm. And even with it being in this, it still has some flaws. Something's touched it or whatever. But it's very, very hard to find these where it hasn't flaked off all over. Oh, I don't know if you've seen that very well. That's so cool. And then there's the side with it. And then and maybe if I set it down here. Yeah. And that's what's considered a regular? Yes. So, yeah, that's the pe one people call the golden glow. Yes. And then on here it says the golden sun glow. Yes. That's pretty neat. So I've learned two uh, new name changes. That's right. Coming over right. here tonight. <laughs> Not that we'll ever use those, but yeah. <laughs> we were talking about the header cards. Oh, wow. Okay. This is a rare header card that was actually in David Welch's book. Oh, wow. This is a one from the book that's still worn out. And, and then as years went on, I finally was able to get acquire another one that wasn't mm. from the book. It's Looks really minty. Rare, yes. So, this is the header card that's the common one. Oh yeah. That's easier to find. It's that one's a super beautiful cute. one, yeah. yeah. Like, when, it's when got like available. a little house on it. Yes. And I don't know what they were thinking on the Santa. I, I don't understand that. I guess it's in a stocking. Oh yeah, it's you a know. stocking. Yeah. Looks like Santa's Hung wearing a dress tree. or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> instead of being in the stocking. But I think that was the intention. Yeah. Other than the stocking. And so Santa looks like he's in a stocking and behind him is a Christmas tree. <laughs> I like the art on that a lot. It looks really nice. And then this is the one that's in uh, the blue book. They call it the Pez Bible. But that would have been David Welch's earlier book. And then as time went on, I was able to replace that with this one. It's not got any scuff marks or anything wrong with it at all. It's very hard to find these that haven't been tore or used or bent. That, that's just hard to do. Yeah, I'm surprised you don't have these on little cases. I have them stacked behind oh, stacked. something. <laughs> so. This part, it's got a bunch of other stuff in there. But that's the, that's the correct box for the and if you look, even this box, it was factory printed off center. So everything is out of whack. Oh yeah. And you would think that would be cheaper, but no, they want more it's because so, yeah. it's one of a kind like that. You show, can we show them the sides? Look at the side, it has art. I can see that. It's pretty cute. That's the grill. Yeah, same on both sides. And on the back. Looks like this. Mr. Store Manager, please display this box. The children will see it. <laughs> and it sells 365 <laughs> days a year. Now, I don't know if you're going to be able to sell Santas all year round, but, but according to that, yes. But you can see this is also thicker. The whole box is much thicker than the other yeah. boxes. Here's another Christmas box. It's not as thick. And so the Pez company, to save money, they would use the same box and they would put, they would glue this to it. This was actually, oh yeah, that's what the box had. They simply glue that to it and now it's good for Christmas. Wow. So what do you have in there? This is all full of Santas. Santa. 17 of them in the cello. Oh, wow. Yeah. Originally it would have probably had 24. So do you, is there an ad sheet out there somewhere that shows that box? If there is, I don't have it. So. Should we go back over there and yeah, show the ones the on the wall? Sure. Got two more to show you. <laughs> so this one on the left, it really displays nice. If you're into candy, you get to see candy packs. You see Santa on the sled with the reindeer. You also see a big Santa and an ornament. This and whole ad is interesting to me because there's no heads even on it. There's correct. no Santa. Yes. Well, a lot of these, the backside has other uh -huh. art. 
I can't show it. I have okay. to decide which side I want to show. Okay. Yeah, so this one says like a new Santa gets a new look in this one. So you think that's like a Santa B type end? It's, it's hard to say. They'll, they'll, they'll make sayings like that. And yet the dispenser say. looks the same. Maybe the flesh color might be slightly uh, different. As you know, we have so many different flesh color ones. This ad's really I just, Well, that's another Pez really International. Nice. See where that, oh, that yeah. usually means international. doesn't say it. But that's what that when it has the little yes. logo. Right. This one's this one's cool too because the art for Santa kind of looks like the Santa, but not really. And this is made. This is really pushed to the retailer because uh -huh. the very top line says, "Sure to send your holiday sales snowballing." <laughs> I mean, you're gonna really do well with that. And again, this is an earlier um, sheet. And you can tell by the, the the box there. Oh yeah, it's very small. Yeah, I like how uh, you said like the crease. You can see yeah. the creases in this one, like. And I believe that's I can't tell real well if that's Santa A, and they're not. A, I think not it's a Santa B. A. Yeah. Looks like it has the longer B. Yes. So. But yet the picture there makes you think of yeah. Santa C. Yeah. And that We've sheet seen was that actually on... folded. You can see the lines, but now when you take it to some places. They can press that, so oh, really? that looked a lot worse. But they'll press. You're paying for that, but they'll press that like just they like do, do like comic, comic books. books. Yeah, <laughs> yes. they can do that to this too. This graphic we've seen on like cards or greeting cards or postcards. Yeah. does that have? Is that the same graphic? It looks yeah, familiar. I believe that somebody stole that and used it. And for, used it. Yes, that happens all the time uh, on rare stuff. Yeah, those are cool. This one might be my favorite one you have. I like, I like that one. I like the one with the green background. <laughs> really I believe cool. this one actually doesn't cost as much, but that one for sure is very, very, very hard to find. It also helps that you have like these really cool frames. Well, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> when you find something you like, you want to cherish it so you package it up nicely. Yeah. Definitely do it's not that. just a frame from Amazon. <laughs> right, right, yeah. Now, a lot of these other ones, those are frames that I showed earlier. Those are little frames you can get two for five dollars. Uh, I actually had one time had the dollar ones from the dollar store, but no matter what, you got to put an acid-free sheet oh, yeah. behind it, or it'll ruin it. Yeah, it'll, it'll make yeah. it yellow. Yeah. So, there, are there any tips for people who want to collect paper? Like oh yeah. Should... So you can start paper collection. You can have the new paper that's out there. Yeah. You're spending maybe two to five dollars for a sheet, and then you might spend maybe five dollars on a frame. Or less. You can get the two for five still at Hobby Lobby and stuff, and then you just put a sheet behind it that's acid free. Mm -hmm. And Hobby Lobby will have it, or any place will have it. Comic stores have it, magazines. Yeah, yeah. So. so at one time, this, this ad was actually in David's book, mm -hmm. the Blue Book, and it's actually from 1972, but the, I've never seen another one except for the one in his book, and finally I was able to talk him out of. To have him sell me this, <laughs> so it's amazing how that happens. Yeah. But I was always looking for a better one, and years later I finally got this one. So. So did you buy this it. from another D test yes, collector? Somebody else. Yeah. Correct. So does any of this stuff ever like appear on eBay or? Very rarely. No. Usually stuff like this, you get a phone call or a text <laughs> or something or an instant message. Yeah. Someone has something like this because. I, I don't know the exact reason why, but you don't see paper that mm. much on online. Yeah. So if someone was collecting, you said something about Pez paper products nowadays, you can just get this easier. So yeah. does do the salespeople at Pez have I haven't sales seen any sheets? for years. No. But the stuff that's from the like 2000s, 2000s. are cheap. So. Okay. But yeah, I don't know if they still I make them. I've not seen anything What kind new. of marketing materials right. that they have nowadays? Or right. it's just all online? Or... Right. And then these things to put them in, you want something like this to, to hold this stuff mm -hmm. in that's thicker. Um, you'll find these on Amazon and uh -huh. stuff. And that protects them. And then you put them with something <laughs> else so that between things so yeah. they don't get all messed up. Keep them out of the UV light. Definitely. <laughs> this whole room, there's no light, sunlight coming in. Yeah. And most things are either LEDs. I did have a lot of fluorescent stuff. I try to get rid of mm -hmm. that because that's bad for this. 
And I don't leave the lights on in here much. Yeah, no. just when you come down. Right. right. Yeah, these are cool. <laughs> Anything else you want to share? Oh, not share that I can or... think of, of with the paper that we're looking at. Uh, again, even these, you can see there's some creases and stuff. And probably if this was sold online, you would not be able to see the, the flaws as mm. well as we can in person. Again, yeah. it's hard to find any of these that haven't been used. A lot of times the paper, once it's been placed in and these grooves get bigger, you've got... Uh, yeah, so have these been used? These, these have never they been They look used. so minty. Right. Like... If they were used, these things would be bent. Oh, this okay. would be wider gap mm -hmm. and there's lots more creases, but there's none of that. This is printed in Austria. Even though they're US, <laughs> it does say that, yes. Yeah, so. that's cool. Wow, this, this stuff is so cool. I really appreciate yeah, you sure. inviting me over today to share it with yeah. everybody. So hopefully everybody watching this video learned something today because I know right. I learned a lot of stuff. <laughs> well, and then other holidays when Easter and Halloween comes, I'll oh, have yeah. stuff for those too. Yeah. In the world of paper. Yeah. I recently bought some like paper stuff just because last time we came over and it's nothing anything like as cool as you have, oh. but I bought some like comic books with like the ads in them. Oh, yeah. They're not like the, the salesman stuff. Ones, the small little ad? Uh, I can't something else? Okay. There's, I bought, they were from uh, Veronica and she's in Sweden. Okay. So they're all in like ones. a different language. Yes. And a I guess it's Sweden or... A lot of theirs have pith. There's a lot of them with pith and a lot of them with some of the Disney characters. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So they're in a lot of the Donald Duck Pluto, um, Donald comics. Mickey, yeah. Yes. I thought she had them and there were like a couple books or so per Can't beat that. paper yeah. and I was like well yeah. I'm gonna buy these and eventually I'm gonna get some frames and hang them up because yeah. it's pretty inexpensive I and mean, it it's is. nothing like you have but it's my, it's my first step into like yeah. Pez paper. <laughs> and it displays nice you know even yeah. non-Pez people get a kick out of some of them. So. Yeah yeah I like how the ones I have are in a different language so it's like it's just more interesting to me, I think, than just like when you have the English stuff. Yeah. It's even like a different, more rare. It's right. probably not that hard to find, but. <laughs> well, some of the, any of the stuff from Spain seems to go oh, yeah. from higher premium. Yeah. yeah. It's interesting to me how like Pez is so global, but there's still like different areas of like dispensers and I don't know, whatever candy, whatever you get, like it's local to the, like, the different regions, even yeah. though it is like worldly. Right, right. So I think that's pretty Yeah, cool. some of the header cards, I had somebody that just came back from uh, Bosnia oh. and they brought me some items. Oh, wow. They look the same except for the back. Oh, the yeah. Card, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And then like Japan's been getting all that like uh, licensed merchandise lately that we don't get here. Really a lot of yeah. things. Yeah. Oh, almost some of it looks like you could have done it yourself, oh. the printing <laughs> on some of Like a trash can and yeah. stuff. But, yeah, yeah. A lot of neat stuff though. Yeah. Purses <laughs> and stuff, really high end. Yeah, those purses. Like, purses are neat. Yeah. They're pretty expensive. Yes. Especially to have like, I guess it's not too bad to ship stuff from Japan, but it still adds up once you're paying $100 yeah. or whatever for something. Then... Definitely you need to get a big order. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, I really appreciate you having oh, me over sure. and sharing these with all my yeah. viewers and hopefully we'll be back soon. Yeah, it's <laughs> great for us. I mean, we're happy to have you guys here. Yeah, so. thanks. Although Marion does want to be on TV. <laughs> Or YouTube or anything. Aww. That's a no. Okay. Some, someday. <laughs> but she puts up with me. That's more important. <laughs> Gotta have someone like her. That's she's, right. She's a good one. I'm, um, I'm lucky to have her. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> but if you missed out on my video, I came over here was a couple months ago now maybe, yeah, yeah. and interviewed John. So if you missed out on that video, I'll put the link right here so you can just click that link and uh, go watch that because John he has some really great pest stories to share. And I still love watching that video. I watch it like a million times, just editing it and after it and just, I just love it. So thanks again, John, for having oh, me over. Thank you. <laughs> we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. You gotta go. Yep, I always see you do that. <laughs> Bye.